All right, insiders, we are back. And you've guessed it, we are starting our news flash with a flash back. If you are missing Tom, like the rest of us, you'll be happy to know that his collaboration, part two with Tim from Video Creators is now live. We'll be leaving a link in the description. So check it out and leave him a couple of comments to let him know that he's missed. Okay, update number two, back to analytics. Uh, we talked you through the new feature, other videos your audience has watched. And we wanted to keep you updated as promised with the progress of the rollout. By July 22nd, we're hoping for a 40% launch. Quick reminder, if you're not seeing this feature in studio, it's indicative of either your content being made for kids or there just simply not being enough data associated with your channel in order to launch it to you. So we'll continue to keep you posted and we'll check in with you over the coming weeks. Next up, we have some great news around the ability to change your avatar, otherwise known as your profile photo on your channel. Up until now, you've only ever been able to do this on YouTube main on desktop, but what we're hoping to have happen by the end of this month, July, is to have the ability to do that on the YouTube main app, both for iOS and Android. So stay tuned, you'll hear it here first, um, and we hope you're looking forward to this update. Next up, we have some great news around custom emojis for memberships. That's right, you guessed it, up until now, you have been able, if you've enabled memberships on your channel, to upload custom emojis, which members can use on things like live chats and premieres. But wait, we're bringing out a launch whereby creators can upload custom emojis which members can use in public and members only video comments. Mind blown. Not for all of you though, because if you notice, I left a hint around this in last week's video in the trivia question. Now, this has been a long standing feature request from the community, both from members and the creators that the members follow. So we're really happy to be bringing it out to the community. Next question is, when are we rolling it out? Well, we're gonna be rolling it out slowly over the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned, we'll alert you when it's live for your channel, but hopefully you'll see some of those custom emojis being used by your members first. And next up, we have the return of a top requested product feature. This is a new comments card, which you will be able to see in the studio desktop dashboard. Now, what's it gonna do? It is gonna show you the comments across your channel, which you have yet to engage with, and it's gonna show you the latest comments first. So thank you so much for the feedback that you've been providing to us. As ever, it's what drives the focus of many product and engineering teams. Next up, we have improved info card experience. This is something that James ran through and did a quick demo of two news flashes ago. So let's do a quick recap. This is 100% live for 100% of creators and it's an improved info card experience in studio. Why is it improved? Well, it's faster, it's easier, it has a better user interface, but I hear you yell, Connor, those are all buzzwords. We've heard them before. Give us the actual details. What's the benefit? Well, imagine a universe in which you can add an info card while uploading a video. You can do this in the video details section and in the full screen editor, but wait, there's more. The icing on the cake. No more opening another tab. You can do it all in the one tab. Thanks to James and his team for this fantastic update. It's been something that's been requested from creators for quite a while. Enjoy. All right, last update before the trivia, which I know you cannot wait for after seeing such high engagement with emojis within the comments last week. We're going to talk about the deprecation of a couple of playlist features that you're not going to see as you move from classic studio to new studio. Now, we are deprecating these five, which you'll have to forgive me, I'm going to read out this time because I didn't have time to memorize them. They are video notes, remove duplicate videos, set as official series, 
auto add video rules and translate playlists. So our goal is always to make sure that we're working on the features that are gonna see the most usage and add the most value for the most numbers of creators. Uh, so if you have any feedback on the playlist feature, as you'll see it in New Studio, this is the place to come. Leave us a couple of comments beneath. Um, as you know, we always read every single one of them. All right, and just before we get to the trivia, one thing I wanted to go through, which I didn't get a chance to at the start, was what I learned over the last week about what it's like being a creator. Um, something that I think is quite obvious, but has a huge impact is the yellow icon um, and what the experience of it is like when one is applied to your video um, and when there's from your point of view, very little information as to why. Uh, you've probably heard about self-certification and rating your own content. So we're gonna leave a link in the description to a Help Center article that my team is working on. Um, and we're gonna try and update a couple of times for the rest of the year. The question I have for you is, what is missing within that article? What could we be adding in there to better represent the content that's on the platform um, or a content area that you might just be confused about? Um, leave some comments below. I'll read through them and I'll go through them with my team. We'll have some more updates around self-certification over the next couple of weeks and some updates that we're making to the questionnaire. But now to the trivia. All right, and last week's winner of the emoji-based trivia question first of its kind is Justin Henton. Uh, Justin, thanks so much for jumping in there and getting the right emoji uh, and making sure that you got a call out this week. Now, little tip for everybody, if you watch Justin's proposal video on his channel, you'll be blown away. Some really beautiful content there. And now, this week's trivia question. In what year did YouTube start serving ads um, and allowing monetization through mid-rolls and pre-rolls, et cetera, et cetera? Uh, leave your answer in the comments below and you know next week I will come back not only with the winner, but with a nice little shout out as well. Um, as ever, leave comments below uh, with suggestions as to how I can make this a little bit better. So have a nice week in the meantime, and as ever, keep it real.